collisions, anchoring, even portals. This AR asset has all of the above and more. Uh, so I, I want to make this video for you so you can follow along. The, there's a download link below, so click on it and uh, follow along as I go along and enjoy the ride. Hi everyone, Sat here, helping you go from daydreaming about development to being an actual developer. So I really want to show you this asset on the store. It's my first asset um, review and um, I think it's a really good one to start with. It's called Multi AR Examples and it's absolutely free and it's by RF Solutions and I used this and I thought I was actually blown away by how good it is and how it's free as well. So it allows you to develop it on AR Core and iOS and Windows Mixed Reality using um, really one build. Um, you just might have to change your settings depending on when you want to actually build, but you're you're developing on, on one set instead of having to you know pull in AR Core and then change your code for AR Kit and then change it again for Windows. So I've used it on, um, on AR Core and it, and it worked great on my phone. I just tested it out. So I want to show you some of the features that it has. In particular, it comes with some fantastic free scenes that you can use. So look, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you um, now. So I'm gonna open it in Unity and talk you through how you can set it up as well. So I've just gone to the asset store. You can search multi AR examples and then. Just hit the import button. All right, and you should get this scene. So the interesting thing about this is you don't need to install the plugins, the Google AR version or the AR kit one. That actually, this, that comes inside with the package itself. So we might have to change some of our settings for our Unity project. This is a completely fresh project I've got here. I haven't changed any settings yet. So I'll talk you through um, what settings I change. And that's also going to be dependent on the documentation that comes with this. Okay, so I've imported that. And as you can see, I've got the Google AR Core and the Unity AR Kit plugin both put in, uh, which is great. And then I've got um, the Multi AR actual, uh, the actual asset as well. Um, well. This came all part of it though. So let's click on the readme file first and have a look at what that says. Great, so this is pretty pretty well documented here. Uh, so it has the introduction, has a setup, so this is the important part. Download and import, uh, you don't need to import any anything else, the AR core, the AR kit stuff. Uh, open the demo scene, build and run to whatever we want. Uh, for initial AR kit setup, for initial AR core, look at that. So I'm going to do the AR core one. So let's just have a look at the initial setup. I'm pretty sure it's the same as usual. So yeah, so we're going to have to just change some of our settings, um, which is right. So we've got just to do the developer settings. Go to Android. So this is the stuff that we do in every on every Android uh, AR core thing. So nothing changed there. Nothing's new. We just go to build settings. Since we're building on um, an Android one, we'll, we'll do that one. Again, if you're doing iOS, you would just follow those, which is really good. Um, so again, you just build it, you just develop once, and it works for both platforms, or all three platforms, so it also works on, on Windows as well. So okay, I've changed that. I'm gonna now go to the, oh no, I haven't changed it yet, it's still loading. All right, so that's done now. It took a bit of time, but that's understandable. It takes time to change some of the assets. So that's done for Android. I'm gonna hit on player settings, and I'm gonna scroll down. It did take some time. If you didn't notice, it's because I skipped it. So not to worry if it takes a while for you uh, to finish changing the, the platform to Android. Of course, you could, again, you could do it for iOS, you can do it for, um, and that's fine as well, whatever you like. So I'm just gonna put in, um, a package name here. Uh, what else do I need to do? I think it's in here. Um, so it says, I'm just reading off of this documentation. It's pretty well documented, which is good again. Change the Android platform. Um, and it says, press the player settings, disable multi-threaded rendering. 
under other, there we go. Uh, set the minimum. You should change the package name as well. I think it usually helps. Minimum to seven and this should be highest. I always leave it as highest. And then under XR settings, the bottom, we want to tick AR core supported. So that's the standard stuff that we need to do. And now we can actually get on to, I can show you some of this, the magic of this platform. So if I go to multi AR, I mean, look at these demo scenes. This is, this is, this is phenomenal. You've got uh, anchoring, collider demo, multi scene demo, occlusion demo, um, and a visual, visualizer demo. I'm going to, first of all, I'm just going to show you one of the anchoring demos. Um, let me see, if I go to the game window, I'll, um, nope, not that one. Which one do I want to do? No, nope, I'm not even going to do that one either. I'm just trying to find which one. Okay, this one I think is pretty good. They're all great actually, and they're all worth looking at. But I want to show you just uh, one or two of the ones that you have in here. I'd recommend you go through every single one of these, but I just want to show you the ones that I think are pretty, pretty cool uh, and show you how useful this is straight away and how you can gain from it. So I'm gonna, I've just opened up the build settings. I'm gonna drag this into the scenes and build. Otherwise it, you know, obviously you have to, to do that before you can build. And now I'm gonna connect my phone and I'm gonna build and run. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my phone. Okay, so um, as you can see, there's a blue screen here. If you're wondering, that's not a bug in the app. That's to do with um, Unity. So I'll quickly show you if that happens to you or if that happens to you or any other app. There's a, there's a quick, easy solution to that. I'll show you how to do that now. So mine's called um, Multi AR Asset. That's what I saved it as. So if I click on that and then I go to Permissions, then I select uh, Camera. Now that should allow me to use the camera. I'm also going to put Location on because I think that might be used on one of the other scenes. Okay, so that's done. Now if I go back to the app, it should work perfectly fine. Again, that's nothing to do with the um, the app itself or the code. That's just, I think that's a bit of a bug within Google um, and, and just in general, the way, it, the way it runs. So don't worry too much about that. But I thought I'd show you how to do that anyway. So again, this is straight out of the box. It's looking for the floor. Now you can see how cool that looks. It's found, each time it finds a new part of the floor, it kind of gives you this incredible kind of effect to show you that it's found it at the top it, it's got some text that shows you, shows you how many surfaces found it's found how many anchors you put down and it's got um a um a little graphical user interface here you've got andy you've got apple and you've got teddy bear and the bottom it says which of those you have selected so i've currently got andy selected the android um the little android prefab so if i tap on the screen it should place it where I tap and there you go you can see that um, and the cool thing is if I tap somewhere else with the Andy one it moves that same prefab and if I tap on the Andy um, graphical user interface icon Andy disappears and I can press him again him again and he pairs again now if I click the apple it also places the apple down and I can move that and again the teddy bear um, and you can see that that's all working fine. I think that's also, and I, the, the teddy bear's animated as well, which is kind of new, nice. So a, a pretty simple code, but I think that it, it's really clean and um, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice effect as well. And again, this works for AR Core and AR Kit, as well as the Windows one as well, um, which is amazing. So you could easily build for any of those. Now I want to show you a few other ones because I think this is, this is really cool, but uh, a nice one to start off with. Um, and so let's jump into the other scenes. Great, so that worked, as you can see, that worked straight out of the box. I'll show you uh, the Collider demo as well. This works quite well. I know a few of you have been asking me how to make a, the ground um, a Collider to in your um, in your comments. So this is a great way of, of being able to show that. I'm gonna remove this scene. I'm also gonna go into the build settings and I'm going to just remove that one and pull this one in. And now I'm going to build and run to my phone and show you what this one looks like as well. Right, so I found a floor. Now, if it says tap to shoot a ball at the detected surface, so if I tap, 
you'll see it found the floor, it bounced off of the floor, and then it rolled off, and you can see it fell off the edge of it, which is amazing, really, when you look at it, because not only did it fall off the edge, it actually vanished as well, as if the floor was a real physical floor. Um, so there's a lot going on here. Um, and obviously you could expand this out to, to reach, if I just try and capture a little bit more of the floor, Again, this is more AR core, there you go. So it looks like it's gonna roll off and fall off under the door. Um, and as a AR core improves, of course, this, this could work too. This could work really well. Um, so look, that that is really good. And if I tap, I can throw loads of um, balls here and they'll all just kind of bounce off of the floor. Uh, okay, so it's not, it's not perfect because um, I think that's also to do with AR core, to be honest with you. But it works pretty well, and you can use this and adapt it in your game. Okay, so let me go into the next one. All right, so that worked great. So let me show you the final one now. Um, well, there's there's loads actually I could show you, but the last one I want to show you I think is is probably the coolest one, and it's the portal opener demo. So let's put this in. Let's remove that. And then let's also add this to the builds list. I'm gonna remove that one, I don't want that there. And I'm gonna just build and run again and show you what this looks like on the phone. All right, so I'm gonna show you this portal demo now. If I point at the floor and I tap it, the floor opens up uh, like a portal and you can see the under, underneath, you know, what's beneath my floor now. And I can actually even go at an angle and I mean I think that looks absolutely amazing you can go into the world as well um, obviously the closer you go to the ground <laughs> this is going to lose uh, the AR tracking so you can't go right into it but you could play around with it you could move it to other places and um, but it works there's an actual there's an actual area in there in there that you can go into um, so I think that's probably the best um example of how powerful this asset is and how it's free but it has so much value in it um take a look let me know what you think uh, i'm gonna leave a download link at the bottom of this video uh, make sure you download it uh, leave a comment on their asset page on their unity page and let them know that uh, you know how cool it is as well it's always nice to when you when someone makes something like that and they, they put it for free to let them know that it's um that you know you appreciate them doing that so uh, let them know okay well uh thanks for that I'll, I'll keep you in the loop if i find any other cool assets as well uh, whether they're free or paid and um i will see you in the next tutorial